This is Investment Perspectives with Brad Kimes. Daily live streaming interactive featuring Mrs. Backup. Subscribe, hit the notification, smash the likes. Now, here's Backup Brad Kimes. Come on in. Good morning. Welcome back to Investment Perspectives, everybody. I wanted to start with a quick picture here of the market infrastructure that was projected from the consultant report or company Everest back in 2017. I think if we look at this and keep this kind of diagram fresh in your mind, when we see some of the little pieces of news that are coming out all across the crypto space, not just XRP, but all across the crypto space, I think we start to see this diagram get filled in. You know, we just recently saw uh, Uber make the connection with MoneyGram, which I think is amazing. Knowing MoneyGram really partnered with, or Ripple partnered with MoneyGram, MoneyGram can serve like an internal treasury at the use and settlement of XRP. Um, I think we start to see more and more names like this pop up on this infrastructure uh, or this layout. And sometimes you may see it tied directly to Ripple, and sometimes you may see it just directly connected to the crypto space. I feel like one of the other things that we're starting to see here, if we get right to it, is the Gemini Exchange partners with Samsung. Now, keep in mind, Gemini and Coinbase just recently were extended banking services by none other than J.P. Morgan, who said in 2017, just three years ago, if he called anybody from his company selling or trading or buying or whatever of Bitcoin or crypto, he'd fire them. Well, now J.P. Morgan, Jamie Dimon are extending banking services to Gemini and Coinbase. What a change in tone we see there. And now look at what's taking place here. Gemini has teamed up with Samsung, paving the way for mobile wallet, wallet interaction with the U.S.-based crypto exchanges app. U.S. crypto exchange Gemini has partnered with technology giant Samsung Electronics for wallet integration. The partnership means U.S. and Canadian customers can use the Samsung blockchain wallet in conjunction with Gemini's mobile application. A statement provided to Cointelegraph said the first U.S. crypto partnership. The partnership is reportedly the first of its kind. Gemini is the first U.S. crypto exchange and custodian to partner with Samsung, the statement said. Cointelegraph reached out to Samsung to confirm details of the partnership, but did not receive response at the press uh, as of press time. This article will be updated as necessary pending the response. The spec suit Samsung users downloadable on Samsung Galaxy phones. The tech giant's wallet acts as a crypto storage location. A result of collaboration, the wallet can now connect with the Gemini Exchange. You know, this looks perfectly hand in hand uh, okay whether they've heard from samsung or not and obviously we'll keep an eye on this too but this really looks pretty positive for crypto all the way around the board right so by connecting their samsung blockchain wallet to gemini users can buy and sell crypto view gemini account balances and also transfer their crypto into cold storage with Gemini custody for the highest level of security, the collaboration gives digital asset users global options and independence features inherent in cryptocurrencies at their core. Gemini co-founder Tyler Winklevoss said in a statement, twin brothers Tyler and Cameron Winklevoss uh, recently joined podcaster Peter McCormick for an interview explaining regulation as necessary but delicate dance. Gemini aims to protect users' privacy while still sensitive to the roots of cryptocurrency. Massive moves forward. Now, we know that the Winklevoss twins are not fans of Ripple or XRP because they ran into trouble with Ben Lawski getting a bit license early on, and we know Ben Lawski now works for Ripple. So... I'm sure there's no love lost there, but <laughs> overall, this is really great for the crypto space adoption, adoption, adoption. And more importantly, it brings us back to the main issue for me, which is market infrastructure and seeing this kind of template become active, filled in, responsive, right? Complete. 
and knowing that they're continuing to build out the market infrastructure. Remember, market infrastructure isn't just the adoption and buying of tokens. Market infrastructure is building all the things like we just covered, whether it's the relationship between Uber and MoneyGram and Ripple's ODL to get payments cheaper and faster to the drivers. That infrastructure back end that has to be built and take place and connected to make that happen for everyone. Let's move on here to the recent news because we had a post from Brad Garlinghouse. Ripple CEO calls for crypto embrace to fight threat of China's digital yuan. And this is really like pressure on the world that China's pushing the digital yuan and out there out in front of everybody else at the moment. With cryptocurrencies gaining more prominence over the past few years, many have encouraged the United States to take the lead in providing regulatory acceptance of assets. Brad Garlinghouse, the chief executive of blockchain cryptocurrency firm, has joined the growing list. However, he is using a scare tactic that every White House administration dreads the most, the prospect of losing to a rival. And it's real. You know, the competition, the threat out there is very real. And we're going to look at something else that really reinforces that notion in just one second here. Yesterday, Garlinghouse took to a Twitter to call or took to Twitter to call on Washington to embrace cryptocurrencies or risk losing the global financial dominance to China, citing an article that touts China's upcoming digital yuan as a threat to the dollar. He explained complacency had set the United States back. As a solution, he explained that cryptocurrency acceptance is only a way forward. U.S. regulators is now time to step up, lean into digital currencies. Remaining complacent is uh, complacent is actually setting us back, while China's grip on both crypto and fiat payments becomes stronger, his tweet read. And I'm not going to read the rest to you because you get the whole deal. You know what needs to happen, and so do I. I just want to set the tone because now we're going to take a look at this. Jim Rickards made a post. If you don't know who Jim Rickards is, very quickly, Jim Rickards is a gold investor, a world-renowned economist. He has been a presidential advisor to many presidents. He is also a best-selling book author, uh, has <clears throat> written great books, The Aftermath, and many other books. Phenomenal, phenomenal insight. Now, he is obviously a gold guy, so he is coming from a gold perspective on everything that he talks about. However, he is a brilliant dude, and we should listen when he starts saying things of this nature. Listen to the weight of this, along with what we just read by uh, Brad Garlinghouse's statements on twi Twitter. China is back to currency wars with a cheaper yuan. Hong Kong's autonomy is gone with the wind. U.S. sanctions coming. What's next? Watch the currency board. China wants the dollar reserves. Hedge funds will break the peg the way Soros broke Sterling. Now, I'm going to tell you something. This is pretty remarkable what he's suggesting here because he's talking about some serious changes and he's talking about the fiat world is what he's talking about here. So, he's suggesting that the currency wars are still strong and still in play. And if they are, which, look, the strength of the dollar is crushing other countries. Think of the foreign countries that have borrowed U.S. dollars. And when they have to pay them back because the dollar is strong, their dollars have to be added to to be able to make the payments. So it crushes them to pay more of their dollars to pay down the debt they borrowed in USD. That's the problem with the Triffin dilemma and the dollar being the US dollar being the global reserve currency. Whatever policy you make at home to help your national policy and national situation, it affects the global markets. And in and in kind, when you make decisions on global policy for the U.S. dollar, it affects the national policy at home. The problem is, as we know here at home, we don't have any wiggle room left with the Fed. And the Fed has been buying up everything from stocks, corporate bonds. I mean, you name it. It's not just their own treasury notes at this point. So keep an eye on this. Again, I want to also add the fact that why are we talking about regular currency? Why are we looking at Jim Rickard's statements? Well, he's a brilliant guy and has amazing insight. And whether he's a fan of crypto uh, in general or not, we should be paying attention to the P 
people who are out here in the other areas of industry and the economy that understand what's happening and how all of these markets, whether you like it or not, digital asset space and crypto included, they correlate. They very much correlate with one another. And I know a lot of people, when I say that, may say, well, if that's the case and the economy's bad and things are down, then why isn't crypto responding? Well, I think we're all going to find out soon enough because as Cryptopolis co-host on Friday's show says so very well, at some point, the fundamentals will catch up with the price of the token. All right, guys, I just wanted to overview this stuff and just give a, a brief overview about how we see the connection still being made in the crypto space in general, whether it's directly related to XRP or not, it is great for the crypto space that there's a relationship being developed between Gemini and Samsung to put a digital wallet on every single phone for Samsung. That is remarkable. And the constant push to get legislation and regulators into this game to bring in whatever else is needed because I personally, when it comes to Ripple and XRP, I don't believe they need more regulation. Brad Garlinghouse said himself at the Economic Club in New York last year, they were already behind the firewall of the banks, which means that Ripple and XRP is already compliant. What I feel like the world needs is a brand new decentralized exchange to transact through and across and on all assets of value can be placed on that decentralized exchange and by that way you could use the native token XRP as the bridge asset for settlement for it in order to do that you're going to need something that looks a lot like this right here to make it happen and I believe we're seeing more and more of that become evident every single day all right guys that's going to do it for me if you like the content please hit the like and subscribe i will catch you on the next one